Really? You want to start this all over again? You want to start something that happened and then stoppable, something that honestly really shouldn't have happened a few months ago? You want to make it personal, huh? All right then. The thing is, Boone, normally these things are in character. Normally, these promos are in character. Not today. This is the real me talking to a worthless piece of shit like you. Now you see, you might not even have the balls to show your face on a camera. Let alone use your actual voice. Let alone sucking management's dick. Let alone actually doing something worthwhile. You see, for the past, I don't even know how much it's been, six or seven years, I've been all over the world trying to hone my craft, trying to do whatever it takes. And over those years, I have done just that. I've done something that probably you have never done, and that is be a world champion. A multi-time world champion, in fact. Now, sure, everyone says, Oh, it doesn't matter what you did over here or what you did over there. It matters what happens in SOS or in Unstoppable. Well, let me tell you something. Unstoppable is a worthless cesspool. Unstoppable is still very alive, to be honest. And uh, this initiative with Strike, this initiative of zero tolerance. Well, here's to you, buddy. There's your zero tolerance right there. There's more. Of your zero tolerance because I could care less what you do to me let alone anybody else you what you're, you're honestly so damn serious it's like you and Lance Storm had a personality transfusion that actually sounds pretty bad to be honest once I think about that I wonder what that'd be like but then again you know what that's like don't you strike light don't you now back to you boom over the past few, actually, I don't even want to say a few years. It's only been a couple months, to be honest. You have been nothing more than a pimple on anyone's ass, let alone mine. Because, to be honest, you're nothing. You are nothing and unstoppable, and you are nothing here. You have to prove yourself before you start doing shit, because I will throw it right back in your face. And you know that. Because the fact is, it doesn't matter who it is. And it doesn't matter what happens. Because at the end of the day, I've done something that is impossible for most people to actually do. And that is bring the SOS, or should I say formerly, Scum Raider Wrestling Young Guns Championship, which I never lost in a way. I was unfairly stripped to do due to Relic and his chicken wing fucking scum cake eating worthless piece of shit that you know as Relic Reed's ego and the only reason I did that is because scum has come back to SOS the high king of death has brought in the world title of SOS and renamed it the Scum World Title. We are changing things right now. Because, quite frankly, you would think the Scum would have the stable title here in SOS, but no. It belongs to the Alliance. It belongs to me. Because I was smart enough to do what I had to do to get that title. And, unfortunately... You might have a million dollar body, but you have a nickel cent brain, my friend. You have a nickel sized brain. Hell, it's probably the size of a pea, which is actually really small. It might be... I don't even know if that's good enough. I don't even know. Maybe like that. Maybe there's no, nothing at all in there. Just knock on your head over there. See if there's anything in there. If, if it's fucking hollow, you're worthless. But anyway... Back... Character. 
I didn't have to do that, but whatever. The fact is, like I said before, It doesn't matter when. It doesn't matter where. But the fact is, when I get that world title shot, when I become the world champion, we are bringing tradition back to SOS and renaming it the SOS world title. Not your little scum world title over there. You know, like a deer in the headlights. You know? Sometimes I wonder, what would have happened if I never came back to SOS? Would it still be the mess that it is now? I'm here to make a difference in here, and so is the Alliance. And if you're not in our cause, then get the fuck out of my way. Because I will make sure that you're not there for long. That includes you, Boom. Because if you ever... Do something, let alone anything again. I'll make sure that if you're in my way, I'm going to run right through you and anyone else in your stupid little Aztec group. You know, the Mayans say the world will end in 2012. <laughs> but just like you and your Aztecs, you'll be wrong. You will run out of rock like they did. And once you're trapped between that rock, I will smash it and make you go through that rock in a way that you will never come out. And that's a fact. Because like the Mayans, you will be dead and the blood will be 